Hello independent artist, Jonathan here. Um, thank you for clicking on the video. I know it's uh, been a while since I've last released a video on this channel. I'm sure the pandemic has hit everyone in some form or another. So I do apologize. We're gonna be back on track. I do know that whatever you're going through right now, things will get better and I'm very optimistic about 2021. And today's topic is all about what you need to know before hiring a music producer. Let's dive in. So before we start, I think we need to actually define what does a music producer do. As you know, talking about music production and its history, it might take a couple of hours just to get <laughs> through it from the 1920s, for example, up to now. So I'll just give a quick um, summary. Originally, the term music producer actually came from the record industry where this particular role would actually overlook the recording process of a song, for example. They don't necessarily have to play instruments. They don't necessarily have to know how to engineer or even coach the artists. It's all about almost kind of le leading and organizing the project from the recording up to its release, you know, kind of overlooking it and making sure that it's the best possible record it can be, that it can make money, and most importantly, please the major record labels, which are the people usually funding the project, for example. So the term music producer actually got really popular, I would say in the 1950s when, you know, vinyl sales were going up the roof, um, there were a lot of singles being recorded and released. Um, people were buying music back then. I guess major labels thought that having a music producer would be a beneficial add to their team, for example. Back then, a music producer doesn't necessarily have to play instrument or engineer or even like coach the artists. It's all about organizing the production from the beginning up to the actual release. Now, obviously, as the music industry has progressed and very quickly, I might add, um, the term music producer has so many different meanings, you know. It could be someone producing a beat, it could be someone um, recording someone's vocals and then at the same time playing instruments. It could be someone writing the song with the artist and then recording them and it could even mean someone doing everything from, you know, finding the artist, writing the songs with them, producing it, working on their brand. So the term music producer can actually mean many different things in different situations. But I would say, if I was to kind of summarize what a music producer does, it's basically someone who makes sure that the actual song comes to life. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, selling a lot of singles once it's released. It just means that the song actually unravels through the process. Much more importantly, a music producer role is to actually kind of activate the artist that they're recording, for example. It's not just about um, pressing record and recording the vocalist. Like a, a great music producer can kind of coach the artist and make sure that they're actually becoming the best that they can be. So now we know a bit about what a music producer does and a bit of the history of where it came from. What should you look for in a music producer? Well, the first thing is really self-awareness. As an artist, as an independent artist, it's about knowing, okay, do, do I know who I want the sound like? Do I have reference tracks or reference artists that I can use as influence? Uh, how much am I willing to invest in the project? What's my timeline? Am I going to release a single? Am I going to release an EP? You know, once you kind of know who you are, I think it actually it makes it easier for you to find the right music producer for you. It's kind of like, if I'm thinking of dating, for example, if you don't know who you are, you don't know what you like and you don't know what you don't like, you'll kind of date everybody, you know? <laughs> you'll co go around in loops and that's okay if you're having fun, but in terms of music, you know, if you, if you find the wrong music producer, that can really be a de detriment to your um, progress. Because remember, when you're collaborating with someone creatively, it's not just time, it's not just ma um, money, it's not just energy you're wasting you're wasting your creative juices as well. And if you have a really bad collaboration, for example, that can really almost scare you to collaborate with, uh, with other people. So hopefully this video will be some sort of a guide so you don't go through that like I did when I was starting out. And before this video ends, I just wanna say I actually wrote a, a more in-depth blog about um, this particular topic. Um, there's about 2,000 words there and I would recommend you read it. I'm gonna link it below. Just because if I talk about it in a video, it would take a long time. So I just thought that I'll do a video and then I'll do a blog at the same time. So it's a win-win depending on what you enjoy, what kind of content you enjoy consuming. But anyway, so being an independent artist, especially nowadays, it's really, apart from being self-aware, it's really a lot of taking responsibility. Don't think that when you find the right music producer that all of a sudden, you know, your career is going to elevate and you know, things are going to go well. Finding the right music producer is just one step towards your career. It's just almost one tiny aspect of it. There's the marketing aspect, there's the branding aspect, there's 
you know, performing and obviously there's a pandemic happening so that's not a sector you can really emphasize on. So, but you can do live streams so that's maybe another aspect you can explore. Being an independent artist, like I said, it's there's so many aspects that you have to think about and it's really about taking responsibility and, and more importantly being practical about your goals and your timeline and where you're at, you know. The most important thing is that when you finally find the right music producer, it's that you're progressing towards your end goal. You know, that's the most important thing. There's no point in, you could collaborate with 20 music producers, but if none of them actually help you progress towards your end goal, you're just wasting time and time is your most valuable asset. Uh, the final thing I was gonna say, you know, I guess going back to the whole time concept, don't feel rushed to work with a music producer. Don't feel rushed to feel like, oh, I have to release a single just because everybody on Spotify is releasing a single every month, every week. Um, listen, everyone has their own journey, everyone has their own timeline, and yours is specific to you. Only you can dictate what's gonna happen in the next couple of months, you know? Having pressure is good, having a goal is obviously very important, but you have to keep in mind your mental well-being is the most important. You can have all this success, you can release 50 singles in 2021, but if you're depressed, you're burnt out, and you're not happy along the journey, is that really success? So that's something to keep in mind. If you want a more in-depth overview of how to work with a producer and, um, and things that you should think about before working with a music producer, I wrote a blog that I'm gonna link below. Um, I recommend you to read it. It'll probably take 15, 20 minutes to go over it, um, but trust me, it's gonna be beneficial for you as an independent artist looking to build your career, especially, especially that 2021 is just around the corner. It's good to prepare now. Now is your time to kind of assess your situation and plan ahead, you know. And so thank you for watching the video. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna release another one this year. There's so many things happening right now in my personal life and in my career. But if you have any questions or you want to contact me directly, I'm gonna leave my socials below, um, as well as the website. Thank you for watching the video. I wish you more success in music. And if I don't see you again, have an amazing Christmas and New Year's. Peace and love. Always.